Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll be showing you how to flash a custom recovery to your Amazon Kindle Fire. You will need to follow my How to Root video first. So you will need root access and you will need the drivers installed. This process can be very dangerous. You could brick your fire if you're not careful. So please follow the directions exactly and ask any questions before proceeding. Alright, so first thing you'll need to do is plug your fire into your computer to make sure the drivers are installed. Let's go to Device Manager. You should see your fire under Android Phone. And then if you click Start here, type percent sign, user profile, percent sign, push Enter. You should see a dot .android folder that up and you should see these two files or at least this file with this information in it if you don't have either of those things then uh, go to my other video and see how to install the driver you'll then need to go to the link in the video description to get the Kindle Fire utility thank you to this guy for making this utility scroll down download the current release right here I have it right here you're going to need to extract it open it up and run the run.bat folder or file click run again if that pops up Okay, here under ADB status, it should say online. We want to install the recovery, so that's item 5. So I'm going to put 5, enter. Don't touch anything for a while. Alright, it'll reboot our fire into the bootloader and it'll download the recovery file here for you. See, it says it's missing, so it's downloading. You can see the progress here. Your fire might look weird. That's okay, that's expected. It's in the fast boot menu. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, your device should now look like this. You saw the Team Win um, flash screen there. You're then going to push Reboot. And go back to your computer. Alright, on your fire you should see the yellow triangle. Do not press any key until you hit Reboot, which we did. Then you'll see a yellow triangle, which is on my fire so I can push any key to continue okay we're still at the yellow triangle you might at this point need to go back to device manager and you might see your Kindle here with the exclamation mark again and install it the same way so it shows up under Android phone again you might need to do that in order to get this that's all folks alright then your fire will reboot once you install the driver again if needed and I'll press a key to get back to the main menu alright so my device is booted back up into the regular Kindle Fire OS well, let's say I want to boot to the recovery I'm going to shut it off Plug it. All right, I'll turn it on. Notice the exclamation mark. I'm going to keep pushing the power button until it turns orange. That will then boot us to recovery.
And at this point, the very first thing you should do is make a backup. So that's what I'm going to do. Go to backup. Backup now. It's going to backup our entire stock Kindle ROM in case we ever want to restore back to that for any reason. Alright, so I'll see when that's finished. Your backup was successful. I'm going to hit main menu and reboot. Uh, system. And it should reboot us. Okay, this triangle will always pop up when you reboot from now on. It will stay on there for like 12 seconds and then boot into whatever OS you have installed. There we go, it's booting back up into my stock Kindle operating system. Check out my next video, how to install CM7 using the recovery that we just installed.